Accutane can be a miracle drug. If you're suffering from persistent and cystic acne, I know I took this myself. I experienced all of the side effects that it comes with. It can be worth it. And I'm gonna teach you how to get through your Accutane regimen as comfortably as possible. We're gonna be discussing all the most common side effects and what to expect. Let's get into it. Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? All right, I'm Dr. J, and as I said, I did use Accutane not only as a teenager, but I, I continue to use it as an adult. So I'm very aware of the side effect profile, and I've developed regimens and routines that not only I use myself, but I am able to consult others on as well. So let's get into it with side effect number one, which is dryness. Accutane works by basically turning off your sebaceous glands to decrease the sebum production and Doing that really quickly, especially at first, leads to massive dryness. So you're gonna get dry. Anticipate it, expect it, it's coming. Not only your skin, but your nose, your lips, your eyes, your throat, you will start to dry up. So number one recommendation for getting through this, moisturizer is your friend. Use a water-based moisturizer, keep them everywhere. Keep them in your backpack, keep them in your desk. Same thing with lip balm, same thing with maybe even some Vaseline for the nose area. You may experience nosebleeds due to this dryness. Keep yourself lubricated, keep yourself moisturized at all times. If you wear contacts, make sure you have eye drops with you at all times. Moisturizer is your friend, you will be dry. Side effect number two, extreme sensitivity to the sun. For a lot of the same reasons, this medication does make you extremely sensitive to sun damage. So in addition to moisturizer, your new best friend is sunscreen. Keep it everywhere. Apply it in the morning, apply it again in the afternoon. It's very important. There's a lot of really good face moisturizers that have SPF 30 in it that also work to act as a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. I use one, use that in the mornings and then reapply it in the afternoon. This is super important. Again, the sun will damage you and a lot of times some sun damage is irreversible. I know a lot of people who have had almost like level three burns from sun damage during Accutane use. Now they have scars. Use sunscreen, use moisturizer, take that very seriously. Side effect number three, extreme skin sensitivity. I kind of relayed this as kind of related to side effect one and two, but very important to know, especially as an adult, if you're getting laser treatments, if you're getting waxed, if you're getting any micro needling, anything that could be done to your skin while on Accutane could leave lasting damage. Your skin is very sensitive, it's fragile, it's delicate. Don't do anything to disturb it. Again, this is a time where you wanna treat your skin like the goddess or god that you are. Just moisturizer, sunscreen. Don't do anything that could potentially harm it and needless to stay, stay out of the tanning beds. Some less common side effects, but still out there, still uh, important to know about are headaches and joint pains. This can be seen in some people using Accutane. Um, if you are experiencing some of these side effects, let your doctor know. You might be able to come down a little bit on your dosage. Uh, specifically with the joint pain, it's important to know that maybe you shouldn't go so hard in the gym during your Accutane regimen. Maybe lighten the weights that you're using, lighten the physical activity, and talk to your doctor about potentially lowering the dose. Again, in my opinion, if you're experiencing headache and joint pains while on this medication, you're probably taking a little bit too much. The next couple of side effects that I'm gonna be talking about are a little bit less common, but very important and a little bit more severe. So keep in mind that if you do experience these, you're not alone and definitely talk to your physician if any of these do arise. And the first one is depression. So Accutane has been known to cause changes in mood. People have even been reported to be suicidal while on this medication. It has been a topic for heavy controversy. So if you start having any of these thoughts while on the medication, again, you might be responding adversely to the treatment. Talk to your physician about those thoughts. Talk to your physician about potentially stopping. There's always mental health counseling and therapy. If you do choose to stay on this medication, it's important to know that it is a common side effect and it might be caused by the Accutane treatment and not whatever else might be causing the depression. So keep in mind, it is a relatively common side effect. It's a topic of controversy. So if you're on Accutane and you're experiencing this, let your physician know. The last, I don't I wanna call it a side effect because it's almost not, but Accutane is highly teratogenic. If you're a female, and teratogenic, sorry, means propensity to cause birth defects. So if you're a female on this medication, I'm sure your doctor's already warned you about this, but be sure that you are not gonna get pregnant. You should already be on two forms of birth control, usually an oral and uh, another form of contraceptive, but this is relatively common. It's highly noted with, with Accutane that if you get pregnant while on this medication, you have a high likelihood of having children with birth defects. So take that seriously, stay on birth control. And then lastly, I just kind of wanted to touch on uh, one further thing. 
which was that Accutane can manipulate your lab results. So uh, for example, it can affect your thyroid or your liver enzymes, so be sure that you're following up actively with your doctor. Getting lab tests, making sure that you're not affecting your organ systems too much, and you can be able to tell those things by your markers on lab results. So overall, I know active Accutane is a highly controversial medication. It was a miracle for me. Uh, I continue to microdose on this medication, which uh, I should have another video that you can click click over to right after this to learn about that. But again, this was something that changed my life. I suffered from cystic acne and I was very oily as a teenager and it was the only solution for me. So if you're in the same boat, the benefits can outweigh the risks, but be sure to follow up with your physician closely. Keep in mind that these side effects are real. Good luck, it can be painful, but make sure that you're aware, make sure that you're monitoring them. And if you like this video, you like this content, please do me a big favor hit that heart button, hit that thumbs up. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're on this medication, experiencing any of these side effects, and I'll help if I can. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It helps support the channel. I don't have any sponsors for this video, so your subscribe helps a lot. Thank you. Good luck on your treatment regimen. We'll see you in the next video.